What up, YouTube? Deserving a Barber 617. I'm back with another review. Oh my god, it's been a little bit. Not too much. It's been like a month of month and a little bit or so. But I got a new review. It's a new clipper. It's not a trimmer this time. It's a new clipper. It's the um Yeah, the wall vapor. Got this in the mail. Been using it for like a little over a week the new wall vapor I, I like first let me just let y'all look at it right quick just look at it see how it looks just look at the blue line it looks cool it fits in the hand nice it got the grip right here pause you got the like the rubber grip right here so it could hold on to your hand but personally i think that I, I like I like the fact that they got this but personally I would thought that they would have one here for the thumb or some type of textured um like bumpy thing pause like textured bumps right here just to have your thumb so it doesn't slip off because it can't it slips right here and then something on the back too but this is the new wall vapor see the vapors right here and then you see the blade. It says F32 Fade Out Blade. It looks nice, though. It really does. I like the black color. And it's quiet. Like the screw for this. You got the little cover over here. You can put the cover on it and then just... But this is the new wall vapor, y'all. This is the new um, introduction to, from wall like good but this is the new introduction for wall here goes the box well the other um bar influences like GZ and all them they got the big ass like pull out box and all that I didn't get that I mean I must be small time <laughs> I just got this but this is the box wall let's go in, let's get into it let me just tell y'all the specs first off the new f32 fade out adjustable balding blade yes when you close it all the way and you um close it all the way you can bald out with these these is a good it, it, the blade and because of the blade too you could bald out with these it got a floating lever there's no clicks over here, just floating. But if you, I mean, you should be experienced in the game to use a floating lever. I, I know how to, I can use anything. Um, thirty-two fine ballpoint teeth glide smoothly over pores. It does um glide on the on the head, pause uh, on the back of the head, pause. It it, it doesn't. Cat snag or catch or nothing. It's a smooth cut. It's real quiet. It's quiet. I like it. like the the sound of it. it's real real quiet. That's what's up. I I like that. Um, it is lightweight, ergonomic design with no slip grip. Yeah, this just I show you. There goes the light, light right here. Um, five star series. It's five star series wall um thing. Um, clipper So let me explain the f32 blade it goes from 0.5 millimeters to 1.2 millimeters It's made from a carbon steel with black PVD chrome and DLC coatings Blades are ultra strong rust resistant and remain sharp up to four times longer now obviously I don't know if that I, I I guess it's true, but I haven't had it long enough to know if it like stays sharper for longer. <laughs> um, fifty percent more teeth and gra six grams lighter than our standard blade for faster, smoother cutting. Yeah, it, it, if you see, let me show you. You can see the blade. If you see it, it's really like there's more slots and stuff with it so 
the specifications 8,000 RPM brushless motor. It, it sounds like a brushless motor because it's, it's quiet. Um, you could do cordless or corded. Um, up to two and a half hour runtime with a 60 minute charge. So, I mean, 60 minutes for 180 minutes, you know what I'm saying, is, I mean, actually, no, no, Andre, I'm, my, my math's off, 60, for 150 minutes, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's nice, if you keep it on the charge, if you keep it on the charge, you be fine, um, it comes with um the premium guards. So this is what it comes with. It comes with a corded and cordless charger. I know y'all know this wall charger. It comes with this. It comes with the um little brush to clean it. The seven premium guards, the um black wall premium guards. You already know what they are. Let me see. Let me put this here. Open this up. This up. You already know the wall premium guards it comes with. Just you already know the wall premium guards. You already know. Um, the white wall comb it comes with the blade guard that you can attach to it and uh, oil. So cut it with this for a couple of days. Like from the first time I cut with it. I actually, I actually liked it. I actually liked it. I'm, I'm a, um, I'm a fan of walls, but I, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But then again, it's like it's in between because I didn't see him coming out with nothing real, real new or anything like that. But when they came out with this, it was a nice addition, and I actually like this clip. It's lightweight. It cuts, it fades, immaculate. This I don't know. This blade is nice. I I like this blade. It's a it's a blade that you could do a ball fade nice and smooth with it. I usually use my stylecraft guards on it, but I still get a nice clean fade. It is what it is. I actually the the weight of it, the fading, everything is it is it smooth with it. This is the the pros. Those are all the pros. The b fact that the blade, I don't, I, I haven't felt it get hot yet, too. That's another thing. That's another pro. Haven't felt it get hot yet. Um, when it's charging, if you see when it's charging, I don't know. You see how it blinks from right here. You see how it goes off and on that lets you know if it's charging obviously when it gets oh, it's about to die get it goes red you know what i'm saying but those are the pros the the cons is i wish it was like for every 60 hours you get two hours runtime or three hours runtime that would have been dope just a little longer runtime on these and the the if y'all know me if y'all watch my videos when it comes to clippers and trimmers i'm a big advocate for a stand a, a stand for the clipper this did not come with a stand and i'm like yo whoa what are y'all doing y'all dropping the ball on me like it's 2024 right 2024 Every clipper company, when they send out something, they send it with a stand. What are y'all doing, Wall? And I guarantee you, they got, this is the thing that I guarantee you, they're going to wait till this sells and then just drop a stand so everybody could go buy the stand. Why don't you just include it in the in the packaging? So that way, and then you could charge an extra $30 on the clipper. Me, I bought this for $199. You could charge $230, $250 for the extra stand. Like, I don't get why y'all didn't just put it in the packaging. It doesn't make sense. 
Like that's my con. This is the one. The that's the biggest con with this clipper. It doesn't come with a charging stand. I hate that about that. I like I like the fact that Walls being innovative and dropping something new as opposed to dropping something old and just redesign. I actually like that because I'm telling you, all these companies are seeing what these Bayless Star, like you know, what I'm saying. I mean, Starcraft and them doing. And they starting to get it like, yo, this is how we need to drop. This is how we need to do things. We need to drop something new. We can't keep on reviving. Like, I actually like and appreciate that. That's dope. On my, For me, I actually like that. Now, is this is going to be something that's going to be put in my rotation? Yes. I ain't going to lie. It, for the $199, for the $200, it's, it's, uh, it's not... It, it's not a bad price, but if it came with a stand for two hundred, it'd be a great price. It'd be a great, great price. I hate the fact that we have to ask for a stand. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all should know that wall. Wall, y'all should already know. Like, yo, this is like they're gonna look for a stand. They're gonna. I mean, y'all spent so much money on the technology of the Clipper. Why don't it just, you know what I'm saying? Just add a stand. I help. Excuse me. Tired. It's early in the morning. That's the only thing that kills me with this is the fact that it doesn't have a stand. But I haven't got, I haven't had a time to film a couple of cuts with me cutting with this. It's just, it's just been real hectic. I'm going to try to get some in. Um, soon I might I I'll probably drop some. You know what I'm saying? Soon with the video and stuff like that. But overall, if you can hear it too, it doesn't sound that loud. Overall, it's a nice clipper. It's a nice clipper for um like veteran barbers. I always say this when rookie barbers get in the game. If you start out with a float um floating lever props to you because you'll learn that quick but i always tell rookie barbers get a click it click it um clicking lever because at least or like a mandis master when they have the notches where the um lever is so you know what steps you're on when it comes to fading and blending and stuff like that but if y'all want to get it y'all should get it it's super quiet it's a nice clipper um just know that you're gonna have to put it on charge after every one or two or two and a half haircuts, you're gonna have to, or three haircuts, or four, whatever, how fast you cut, you're gonna have to put it on charge. But other than that, man, yo, I think it's dope. I think it's a good clipper. I actually like it and appreciate it. I actually, it's gonna be in my arsenal. I'm gonna be using it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I like. The way that I, I just like the new innovative stuff that Wall did with this clipper. It's dope. But um I'm gonna be dropping some more videos soon. Don't worry about it. Um I, I, I know a lot of people been asking me about like student barbers like um videos about once you get out of school, what you should do. Um I'm going to be dropping that. I'm going to drop videos like that soon because I got five things to do if you want to be a bar. I, I'm going to start dropping videos like that because I feel like I, st I still owe y'all some game. Besides these clipper and trimmer reviews, I still owe y'all some game on these barber um, on on the barber game. So it's always I always want to drop gems and jewels for y'all. If y'all could get it from one of my videos and learn something, more power to me, more power to you. I appreciate it. Like I'm in this phase in my life where I'm trying to transition to teaching this game as opposed to just cutting in this game and getting money. The money's there. Like I done built the clientele. I'm, I always get new clientele. I'm built. I'm trying. Uh, I I done built my clientele to a certain standard, and I'm trying to get. Um, I'm always welcoming more clientele. But it's just I want to teach. I want this game to last for even longer and i feel like my contribution to the barber game should be teaching because to let these these new barbers that's coming in that thinks it's all about enhancements and the instagram pictures and editing pictures and stuff like no there's more to this than just that you have to really 
be nice and i want to be able to teach this new generation on how like you should be nice at your craft you know what i'm saying the basic steps that you should have that you could be nice at you should master that craft and master them steps but um two hundred dollars if y'all want it y'all should get it i don't i i i don't think it's it's a stretch if it was 300 like the um saber 2.0 if it was like 289 I'd be like yeah all right. you know what i'm saying this this guy without a stand yeah you gotta show me why is it worth 289 300 but 200 dollars is a good price point i'm not getting, i'm not even mad at it but um this is the box let me show y'all it this is it all directions of stuff on it is a Nice, they sent the little box, but once again, this is Urban the Barber 617. Um, stay blessed, stay righteous, um, stay up, stay positive. Always look at life as the half the glass half full instead of half empty. Trust me, you'll get farther thinking about that, thinking in that way. You get farther, more farther, longer thinking that way. Just stay positive, stay blessed, and this is Urban Barber 617. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Peace.